Okay, it's recording. Get everything ready. That's not it. Okay, this looks like the file. It upper opens up. Here we go. Okay, so <clears throat> first question. Here's so we did double number lines today, and it's just a different way of solving a ratio problem. So let's see if I can. Oh, I can space it out. Oh my god, I'm a genius. All right, so double num duh, my double number line. It's literally two number lines. One, two. And we're gonna label this grape juice or just grape. We're gonna call the other one apple juice. And we're going to represent a ratio here, which is a ratio of two to four. So every time you have two cups of grape juice, you're going to have four cups of apple juice. So, um, what happens when there's 14 cups? What happens when there's 14 cups of apple juice? We want to know how many cups of grape juice we're going to use. This is no different, and I'm going to do this on the side. Okay, so let's say you had something like this. You had a two and a four. This was grape juice, and this was apple juice, and this was 14. And I asked you to find this number here. So you would look at the relationship between two and four. Well, how does a four become a two? Four becomes a two by dividing by two. So up here on this 14, to go up, it also would be divided by two, giving us seven. So if you look at it separately, if you look at it two fourth and 14, think of it as two separate, as the, Two different fractions. Okay, what's the relationship here? How does a four become a two? Divide by two. So the fourteen to find your number on top here will be divided by two, which gives us seven. And then here I just did it in a fraction format, in a little table format, in a number number line format. So the answer is seven. Um, mm -hmm, here. Lemonade, the ratio of, let's just clear all this. Lemonade. Okay. In the lemonade, the ratio of lemon juice to water is one to three. So lemon juice to water. So you got, let's call this lemon. Let's call this water. Let's create, start here, go like that. Create a number line for a lemon. Create a number line for water. On the number line for lemon, let's find number one. And on the number line for water, that would be three. So every time there is one lemon, you add three cups of water. Okay, so I'm just gonna play a little bit here. If I added two lemons, I'd use six cups of water. If I add three lemons, I use nine cups of water. And I could go on and on and on. So what happens when there's 10 cups of water? Well, let's just make 9, uh, 9, 10 right here. Okay, so is there a relationship here um, between 3 and 10? No, nothing times, nothing times 3 gives me 10. But I can look at it up and down here. How does a 3 become a 1? A 3 becomes a 1 because if I divide 3 by 3, I get one. So here, I can do the same. How many lemons would I need if I had to have 10 cups of water? So 10 divided by 3. Let's do that on the side. 10 divided by 3. 3 goes to 10 three times. 9. <laughs> one left over. Add a decimal just to see if I can do this again. Bring the zero down. 3 goes to 10 again three times. Oh, let's not forget the decimal. And this is going to be a a uh, repeating decimal, 3.3333, forever and ever. So if I had 10 cups of water, I would need 3.3 with a bar notation, lemons, 3 and a third lemons, okay? Number three, grandma needed three striped sweaters, the total of four sweaters that she needs, okay? So let's call this striped, and let's call this total. So. Every time, sh so the ratio here is three to four. Three striped sweaters for a total of four. 
what happens or how many sweaters did she knit if she made 24 striped sweaters let's put 24 about here we need this this is our mystery number so um relationship a side to side relationship how does three become 24 times eight so i can apply that to the bottom as well times eight giving me 32. that's it Um, let's do this one. Sam is going to run a marathon. Good for her. Uh, she can run, this is four miles and 40 minutes, so it's miles and minutes. So, and then my other number line, sorry, that was really crooked. So I have it that four minutes takes her. Four miles takes her 40 minutes. How long will it take her to run 26 miles? So four, and then let's put 26 somewhere around here. Is there a relationship between four and 26? No, there isn't. But what about up and down here? How does a four become a 40? Well, times 10. So here, to find my time that she's going to take to run 26 miles, I also want to multiply by 10. And 26 times 10 is 260 minutes. Okay. <clears throat> five, 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 five. Oops, no, nope, not there. Yeah. Two hundred fifty-six. Okay, so this one has a lot. So let me just make. It. So we're going to compare money analysis. Analysis. I know that. For two thousand fifty-six, and this is zero, by the way. This is zero. Sorry, I keep forgetting that. So two thousand fifty-six cents for two thousand fifty-six cents, I can get thirty-two ounces of water. Okay. Now I want to know how much an eight ounce is. So let me put eight over here. I want to know what a twelve ounce is. Twelve about here. And I also want to know what one ounce is. Oh my god! All right. So what can I do here? Um, 32 to 8 I can, from 32 to 8 I can find, because there is a relationship, so 32 to 8 would be divided by 4, right, so I can do, so let me put three things over here on top too, so to find a number on top of 8, I do 256 divided by 4, and I am going to, that goes in nicely, and I'm not going to do it on screen, but I'm just going to do it here, on my phone, divided by 4 equals 64 cents, so, Right here, on top of the eight, 64 cents. So for eight ounces of water, it would cost me 64 cents, okay? And, and I divided that by four as well. Is that, now it's not gonna help me with the one, it's not gonna help me with the 12, no it's not. Is there a relationship between eight and 12? No, but let's find the one. Let's find one here. Maybe I should have done one first, but let's find one. How does 32 become a one? Obviously, divided by 32. 32 divided by 32 gives me the 1. So the number on top here, I can do 256 divided by 32. And 256, 2.56 divided by 32 is 8 cents. 0 0.08 cents. Good. Now that I have 1, I can do any other number. So 1 ounce gives me 8 cents. So from 1 to 12, how would, what would be from 1 to 12 would be times 12. So that's easy. So from here, 0 0.8 to go to this particular location would be times 12. And 0 0.08 times 12 equals, I have no idea, 96 cents. From here to here, 96 cents. Times 12, 96 cents. So maybe I should have done 1 first because the 1 helps me with the 8, can help me with 12, and actually, in fact, can help me with anything uh, that's thrown to us. Um... Oops. It takes eight leaves to feed five caterpillars. So let's again we're talking comparing leaves. Caterpillars. Caterpillars. Number line goes that way. And our ratio is an eight to five. So let me raise my eight leaves, five caterpillars. How many leaves does it take to feed twenty caterpillars? Ooh, this one is easy. 
quick relationship up and down there's nothing because nothing times 5 gives you 8 so how does a 5 become a 20 times 4 so here would be times 4 giving us 32 <laughs> how about 9 ooh let me erase some of this stuff so our first answer so 20 calipers will take 32 leaves let me back up a little bit and what about nine caterpillars? How many leaves do I need for nine caterpillars? So um, there is no relationship between five and nine. Nothing times five gives me nine. So in this case, I'm going to go back and find how much it takes to feed one caterpillar. So how does a five become a one? So five divided by five. So this is to go this way. Divide by five gives me one. And here. To see how many leaves, it's also divided by 5. So 8 divided by 5 is 1.6. So it takes, so here, sorry, 1.6 leaves to feed one caterpillar. So I know how much it takes for one. The rest is super easy now. Now that I know how long, how much it takes to feed one caterpillar, I can just simply, what's the relationship of 1 and 9? times 9, right? So on top here, 1.6 to go to here would be times 9. 1.6 times 9, 4, carry the 5, uh, 144, or 14.4. It would take 14.4 leaves to feed 9 caterpillars. Okay? Da -da 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 -da. Um, 7.75 is the cost of five cans of dog food okay cans of dog food so money cans here's my number line here's my wavy number line i know that for seven uh oh seven point seventy five dollars i can get five cans how much will it cost for 20 cans well 20 is about here that's easy enough it's a times four relationship so on top this would be a times four so to find out how much it will cost for four cans, obviously it's just going to be a times four too. So 7.75 times four gives us us thirty-one dollars. Okay. <clears throat> so let me backtrack a little bit to give us some room. So let's change the question to instead of five, what about twelve cans? Is there anything multiplied by five? Give me twelve. Um, I don't think so. Oops, what's that? Oops, okay, something happened. Um, let's go charge. And what about up and down? Is there a relationship? Yes, there is. So this one, actually, there is a relationship going up and down. Okay, now we charge. So, Nothing going here, nothing times 5 gives you 12, but definitely here. What times 5 gives you 7.75? Well, if you divide, you actually can find out it's going to be 1.55, so it's times 1.55. Okay, so the final number of 12 would be 12 times 1.55, and that would give us 18.60. Not that bad of a question, actually. Um, ratio of red cars to blue cars. So red cars, blue cars, blue, red, blue. Three to five, so three over here, five over here. There's 75 blue cars. How many? Red cars, there's 75 blue cars, so let me put 75 over here. What would be the number of red cars? So, 5 times, is there a number? Yes, there is. That multiply, give you uh, 75, would be 16, I don't want to, what am I saying? No, 17. No, yeah. Why do I have an idea of this? Um, it's because I'm hungry. 15. So times 15, and this is going to be also times 15, and that I know the answer to, 45. So if there's a total of 75 blue cars, 
there are going to be four red cards. Okay, so it wasn't that bad. It's just a different way. Okay, so if I, let me just do that on the side. You could have something like this. Look, as a fraction. What five times what? Seventy-five times fifteen. So I multiply the top times fifteen. If you had a table, this could have looked like this on a table. Three and five, and then this was seventy-five. So it was what times fifteen? It definitely times fifteen gives you forty-five. So. Again, it's just a different way to look at the problem with uh, a uh, double number line. Okay, and that's that.